One time I had a friend too who, who I said, I think it'd be helpful to watch The Matrix, and she said, I'll try, but that's just an extremely violent movie. I don't know if I can make it through. She made it through like 10 minutes, and then I said, okay, well, go back, take notes, and just journal your emotions and see, and she was able to journal her way through the movie and pause it, you know, with a, a DVD. But she worked so much over a period of weeks at letting all those judgments about this violent movie come up, that by the end she called me up and she took me to a Cinemax, one of those big screens. We sat like in the third row. <laughs> Neo's nose was, you know, from that angle. And, and we sat through the whole thing and she just was so happy. In fact, she enjoyed all the reflections of the people around us, their comments, of how helpful the movie was to them, how healing it was. So she, in a span of a few weeks, went from seeing that it's not, there aren't really violent movies, the, the judgment in our mind, the attack thoughts and judgment, that's the violence. <laughs> well, we, we have to start to see it's going on in the mind. And if you really see Jesus teaching, I call it divine rationality, there's one point where he says, I am not a body, and my mind cannot attack, so I cannot be sick. That's one of his divine logic things. It is actually very powerful if you follow it. I am not a body, so we have to disidentify from thinking we're this projection. And my mind cannot attack. In other words, the belief in separation from God is, is a mind attack. It's not people shooting, or people hacking each other, or fighting, karate, you know, it's, it's the belief that I could pull my mind away from God. That's the attack. But my mind cannot attack. So I cannot be sick. So the next time you start to feel some symptoms coming on, try that one out. <laughs> Just come right back in your mind with some divine logic. I am not a body and my mind cannot attack. Because this whole world is a projection of the belief in attack. As a smokescreen, as a distraction, as a, it's like a substitution so that you get caught up into these actions killing and, and shooting and all those things, and that you get so swept away in the projection that you don't go within.